Father and son, on opposing sides of a deep ideological divide, go on a transatlantic road trip to see if they can resolve their differences. That is how Channel 4 are selling Prue and Danny's death road trip, which the channel is airing tonight. Prue is Dame Prue Leith, Danny is Danny Kruger, MP, and they're both on the line. Good morning to you. Good morning. Hello, good morning. And this starts, Prue Leith, doesn't it, with the awful death of your brother? That's right. I mean, he died like many, many people do. Thousands of people still do. He died 12 years ago. Um, he had allegedly three weeks to live, and he was not given enough morphine to control his pain. So for th one hour in every four, he was in literally screaming, crying, begging, agony. He wanted to die, and he couldn't. And he wanted the pain to stop, and he couldn't get that either. And that happens still in lots of hospitals, and it's um, it's crazy. At the moment, people have a choice. They can suffer, they can go to Switzerland, or they can commit suicide perfectly legally. What they can't do is get help to die, and we need it. And the lessons, Danny, that your mother took from the death of your uncle, well, you've taken different ones, haven't you? Yes, I mean, she's absolutely right that too many people are dying in very bad, in a very bad way at the moment. We don't have a properly rolled out system of palliative care, end of life care. The fact is people should not be dying in terrible physical agony in the 21st century. We, we don't need to have that. We have very, very good uh, pain relief now. We have protocols of, for palliative care. What we need to do is to ensure that everybody has access to them. But I really sympathise. My mum's so right to highlight these terrible cases. And the reason for us going to America and to Canada is to see how they, those countries have responded to the same problem. And my, my concern is that even while we understand people like my uncle who, who, who might have needed it, although in practice I think he was just badly looked after, there are many, many more people who are eligible for an assisted death because it is impossible to write the law in a way that doesn't include anybody who can persuade a doctor that they are approaching the end of life or that they're in unbearable suffering. And you can shop around and find a doctor who will confirm that, and that's exactly what happens in Canada. And you get people who are disabled, the lonely, the mentally ill, the vulnerable, the people who feel they're a burden to their families or to the healthcare system. And that's, this is happening all over the place, everywhere where assisted dying is legal, these vulnerable people are being drawn into it, and that's what... Did, I don't know how we can prevent it. Did, did that... Um, was that your impression, Prue Leith? And if it was, did it change your mind? No, I wasn't very impressed with the, <coughs> with the can Canadian system, but that's not the system that we're proposing. We are pr talking about only people who are terminally ill anyway. We're not including mentally health... Uh, mentally... Um, uh, um, disturbed people and we're not including children and we're not including I mean it is very narrow what we're um, we're proposing something very much like they have had in Oregon for 25 years it's enormously successful um, Danny complains that more and more people take that route and that seems to him to be terrible I think that's proof that the thing works and people want it and more and more people you know the trouble with our society if I can be, make it whole argument a bit broader is we're very good at keeping people alive um, for a very long time mm. and doctors cannot resist um, another intervention to keep you alive a little bit longer. Why? And, and very often this shouldn't happen. Danny Kruger, why is Oregon not the solution, the Oregon approach? Well, there's no country that gets this right. So in Oregon, there are people who have uh, anorexia, you know, eating disorders, people with hernias, with diabetes, people who have conditions that we would regard as manageable, very, very distressing, no doubt, but they're not reasons for people to, in my view, to seek an early death or to receive one. But that is what happens. So there's, there's, I think there's 27 countries around the world or jurisdictions which have legalised assisted suicide in one form or, or another. Not a single one of those is the model that, that the campaigners here in the UK want to import. They say we're going to do it ourselves in, in a way to avoid all these downsides. But no other country has got it right because you can't. Once you've decided that some people have a right to ask a doctor to kill them or to give them lethal drugs to take themselves, then you've created a right which is has the seeds of its own expansion. So in every jurisdiction, they all start with the same place that my mum is now, which is saying let's restrict it to the people who are right at the end of life, mm. who are mentally well. Who, but every sing, in every single place, it, it, it expands. Through Leith? I don't think that's true. I mean, it, uh, the law in, um, in Oregon hasn't changed. And in fact, 
I don't think there's been any law changes to widen it, except in Canada, which is we, – we're not even talking about Canada. Canada is not what, what the model we're after. And in fact, I do think – I cannot believe it's beyond the wit of man to, do, to um, <clears throat> have sufficient safeguards to protect vulnerable people, which is the people you're concerned about. Um, you're convinced that that's not possible. But, you know, just, to, just because we don't – know exactly how we'll manage the safeguards. That's why we need Parliament to spend real time on discussing this and for the government to give... I mean, to be honest, we'll never get a change in the law unless um, the government gives time to debate a bill. Because what's happened over and over again is that the opposition, your guys, Daniel, just talk it out so that um, a private member's bill will always fail. All right. Because you can talk it out. Uh, Dan, but, Dan, Danny Kruger and Pruly, thank you both. I'm going to give you, Pruly, the, the last word, but to, to say as well that the film um, is tonight on uh, Channel 4. It's at uh, 9 o'clock and promises to be fascinating. Thank you both.